Alright, you're in the right place. It is Weather for Weather Geeks time, the midweek edition. It's the second day of March 2022. Ten years ago on today's date, back in 2012, a very warm day across parts of the Ohio Valley. Locally, we made it into the 50s, but we had 80s in central and southern Ohio, and a big tornado outbreak occurred on this date ten years ago in southern Ohio, down into parts of northern Kentucky as well. That was the start of a very summer-like March of 2012. Ten years ago, we had a uh, just a an amazingly warm month of March. Uh, the rest of spring was not quite as warm, but March that year was just just crazy warm. I did a review of this year's winter season and a preview of this spring uh, yesterday on Weather for Weather Geeks. And also, if you're a little bit more of a reader, you can check it out on my weather blog, ericwfmj.com, and click on blogs. You can also watch old... Uh, videos on that uh, on that site on my blog. You can watch archived weather for weather geeks videos in case you want to see what the weather was like and what we were talking about on some random date last year. You can you can always do that on my weather blog and my YouTube channel as well. So go search for Eric WFMJ on YouTube and you'll find all the weather for weather geeks that we've done in recent months and even going back a, a couple of years. All right, we started today with a little bit of shallow fog across parts of the area, including from. Well, this vantage point high atop our transmitter tower on the south side of Youngstown. The fog was pretty thin and short-lived. Nice looking morning and afternoon, at least the first half of the afternoon. Clouds started to increase then as we got into the late afternoon hours, and these clouds are now threatening to produce a little bit of precipitation. Pretty big temperature contrast from southwest to northeast across the Buckeye State this evening. This is something we see often as we get into the spring season, where Cincinnati will be well up into the 60s and will be quite a bit cooler. But hey, we were still above average for early March today. We made it to 49 this afternoon and we're hanging on to mid 40s as of this recording. And as of this recording, a little bit of uh, precipitation is breaking out, some sprinkles, some very light showers pushing through. Uh, these will become a little more commonplace as we go through the rest of the evening. There's actually some snowflakes mixed in with the rain up across Michigan, across parts of southern Ontario right now. And uh, that threat for a little bit of frozen precipitation will push in here as we go into the very late evening and into the overnight hours before this precipitation shield pushes away. Yeah, some wet snowflakes will be a possibility. Don't think this does much in the way of sticking. Maybe on non-paved surfaces we get a little candy covering in some spots. Uh, roads should just be wet overnight. Watch for a few slick spots late tonight as on the wet roads and temperatures dropping down several degrees below freezing. Uh, might be some uh, some black ice issues late tonight and first thing, <clears throat> pardon me, tomorrow morning. Maybe a stray flurry to start tomorrow. So we'll have a little bit of a connection up from Lake Huron across Lake Erie tomorrow morning. This might uh, produce a couple of random flurries, especially north of Interstate 80. Otherwise, we'll see some ineffective sunshine tomorrow. Definitely a colder day with a north wind tomorrow, a gusty north wind. Temperatures struggling to get out of the 20s. It's going to be kind of a slap in the face after a couple of pretty mild days to kick off the month of March. Freezing cold Friday morning down into the teens, but as that high slips off to the east, we'll get into a little bit more of a return flow starting on Friday, meaning temperatures will return to about average Friday. And then fake spring will be unlocked by this swarm front uh, Saturday. We'll start out pretty chilly, but by the afternoon we'll be soaring into the 50s, maybe even 60 or better. And that's just the start of what should be a very toasty by March standards, weekend. So again, mid-teens to start on Friday. Furnaces will be running, but by Saturday afternoon, it'll be a good 45 degrees warmer Saturday afternoon than it will be Friday morning, and it'll be almost 55 degrees warmer Sunday afternoon than it will be Friday morning. Wow. The record high temperature on Sunday is 69 degrees, and that's what our forecast is right now uh, for a tie of that uh, record high. Um, Sunday afternoon and most of the weekend we'll be able to enjoy that warm weather we have some showers in the weekend forecast but most of it's late Saturday night and into Sunday morning by Sunday afternoon the Sun should be breaking out you know you certainly think if we're gonna get it as warm as the upper 60s the Sun has got to break out so I do think that will be the case as uh, we go into the uh, second half of the weekend all right let's uh, switch sources here and talk about the longer range, not real good news in the longer range as uh, we go through time, um, specifically by mid-March. Next week's going to be a little more seasonable, pretty ho-hum temperature-wise, but keep an eye on things as I roll this animation forward towards mid-March. Here's the 10th, 11th, 12th. Look at the cold air pile-driving 
down into the lower 48 states from Canada. This is a mondo cold air mass compared or compared to average. And for this time of the year, it's pretty impressive. And while it will be focused in the west at first, it's got to come east at some point, and it looks more and more obvious like it is going to come east, at least part of it, as we go towards mid-month. So, again, this is Sunday the 13th, right around the uh, time change weekend, right as we're going into daylight saving time uh, and later sunsets. Uh, we're not going to be able to enjoy some very warm evenings, it looks like, as we go into mid-month. And how long does this colder regime last? The European would suggest probably at least through St. Patrick's Day, switching over to the CFS model, which goes out farther than the European Ensemble. Uh, the CFS does offer some hope that the tail end of March will feature a return of somewhat milder weather after a pretty cold interlude, it looks like, during mid-month. Will that cold snap come with any snow? Too early to talk about that. At the very least, with that kind of cold air coming down over the Great Lakes, so we may have some late season lake effect to contend with. Um, but as far as big snowstorms or anything like that, yeah, too early to say. But uh, confidence is increasing that mid-March is not looking particularly balmy. So uh, the lesson here is enjoy this weekend. Upper 50s to about 60 on Saturday. Upper 60s, maybe even pushing 70 on Sunday. Thanks for watching tonight. I'll see you right back here on Thursday evening.